yourself, Coach. Um, you get hired at Purdue back in December. Uh, from now, from then until now, what are some of the things that you've uh, focused on in terms of improving the program and, and putting your stamp on this Purdue Boiler football program during that seven months? Well, I think we all understand we've got a lot of work to do, so we've tried to address a lot of little areas. So, you know, definitely player development, um, you know, recruiting, uh, improving the roster, uh, everything we can, you know, assembling a great staff, uh, everything we can to help this program get better. But without question, you know, getting into Fort Wayne, uh, getting into a lot of uh, cities within uh, Indiana and making sure they understand that we were welcoming to any uh, potential prospects that want to come play at Purdue and, and uh, we appreciate all the support that all the faithful Purdue faithful give us and, and uh, you know it's up to us to go out and put a good product on the field for them. When you take a look historically you know your teams at Western put up about 44 points a game Purdue is the cradle of quarterbacks I mean is there how, how much did that fit um, just feel like the absolute perfect fit for you when you take a look at what you've done and what they've done historically? Well, I think you're going to see us take a lot of pride in, in uh, the Purdue history and tradition of quarterback play, uh, of putting you know, a different and distinct offense on the field. Uh, but without question, we want to get Purdue back to where it belongs. And you know, the Big Ten's a competitive conference. They're great players, great coaches now that are in the conference. Uh, we've got to recruit better. We've got to coach better. We've got to develop better. Uh, we've got to utilize every aspect that we can to improve. But I think we've got hungry players. We've got hungry people on the team that want to improve. They want to be coached up. We've got hungry fans that want to see success. Uh, so we've got to just uh, create a competitive environment where our guys want to work hard, where they love the game of football, and they want to do whatever it takes to win. You've got a returning quarterback that threw for over 3,300 yards last year. Obviously, people know about your offensive acumen at Western Kentucky. How much have you been able to put in in terms of X's and O's during the spring, and how much more do you have to do during the fall to be ready for game day when you guys take on Louisville? Well, we always want to be aggressive in attacking in our style. I think that after spring uh, practice, we realized that there's some components that we're missing and that we're maybe we're not going to be as good at. So we definitely had to uh, adjust certain things and try to take advantage of what our strengths are. And it may be in different areas that we'd like for it to be in, but uh, we've got to build it around the, the talent we have. But Basically, the bottom line is to win. The bottom line is to score points, and we want to make sure we're still creative and fun with that, uh, where our fans like to watch it, our players like to play in it, and hopefully we can find a way to score points. Uh, their names have been mentioned tonight. Uh, Rod Woodson, Anthony Spencer, I'll throw Bernard Pollard in there as guys from Fort Wayne that have gone on and did great things at Purdue. Um, how important is it for you guys to recruit the Fort Wayne area and then in a, a larger perspective, recruit, I, or recruit to the state of Indiana and make sure that the best players in this state are going to Purdue? Well, there's a great pipeline from Purdue University to the NFL. A lot of great players that have gone on, uh, so it can be done. And we've got to make sure that the players in the state of Indiana realize, hey, Purdue is a great place to play football. You're going to get a top-notch education. You're going to have a chance to compete against the best. You're going to have a chance to achieve all your goals in a competitive, fun, fun environment where uh, coaches care about their players and want to do things the right way. But uh, we want to get Purdue back, and I think that uh, – when you can get a nucleus of your football team from the state of Indiana that have some certain ties to it, uh, whether it be a family member, a relative, uh, or just a friend, uh, they're going to take extra pride and dig a little bit deeper in order to find a way to win. And we want to build our nucleus of team, a nucleus of our team around those guys. Final question for me, over the last couple of weeks, I know you can't talk about guys specifically, uh, but for the class of 2018, you've added eight new commitments over the last two weeks. What do you chalk that up to, and what are some of the things that uh, recruits are responding to uh, you about in terms of, of deciding to commit at this point to Purdue in the future? Well, we feel great where we're at in the recruiting process. Is there a lot of work to, uh, still to be done? Yes, and it's really about building relationships uh, with coaches and players, giving them a chance to get to know us and what we're about and how we want to develop them on the football field, in the classroom, in society, into a productive citizen, uh, and, and give them every opportunity to do that. But uh, we feel good where we're at. We want to continue to add to the mix. We're going to recruit the best players throughout the, uh, the state without question. We're going to compete against anybody and everybody uh, because I think if we can get them on campus, campus and showcase what we can do for them in the classroom, on the football field. Uh, they'll see that uh, we have a great plan uh, and we've had success in the past and we can get Purdue back. And when we get Purdue back, it's going to be these difference makers that get on board where people are going to say, who the heck are, is playing for these guys now? What's their names and where do they come from? And I think we can do that with a, with a, 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 a pretty good sized team from the state of Indiana.
Do you feel like that recent spike in commitment is kind of um, just showing that you are going about things the right way, the things that you are preaching and trying to convey, it's getting through to people? Well, we want to get to know our players and know our commitments and get them on campus and give them a chance to know us as well. So it's just as important for them to like us as it is for us to like them. Uh, but we've had good success so far, and I think uh, we've got to continue to work hard at it. We've got to continue to convince uh, numerous young student athletes that they can achieve all their goals at Purdue, uh, that their name will carry a, a lot of weight within state. They'll be able to play in front of their family and friends against a great schedule. Uh, we've got a new $65 million practice facility that'll be done in August. There's a lot of things going on in a positive direction, and I feel like if we can continue to work hard to get in a strong nucleus from Indiana, we'll have great success.